Oh yeah, it's cell day, let's go. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Lone Oak Farm here on Farming Simulator 19. Today is gonna be a fun day. We are getting some selling done. Oh yeah, we are gonna make some money. So right now, we still have a $40,000 loan and we've only got $3,600. But today, we are literally about to demolish that loan and make it go crazy. What are we doing and what are we selling? Well, thanks to JTurk, I know the best time to sell anything and everything. So here's what we're going to do. Wood chips getting sold today. I know it says 281. Right now is not supposed to be the best time to sell. However, I don't know if it's going to get any better or worse or whatever. JTurk says the best, easy, best price, $311 per thousand liters. Well, guess what? I'm selling for 309. Let's sell. It doesn't it says that this may not be the best day, but if that price is prices are yep, money. I want the money's good. They have also said that the best time to sell canola is when you get somewhere around $2300. Well, if we go take a look at our canola. Canola, well, it's getting close. We're about $200 under that right now. Canola's at $2,100. Hasn't changed any in two days. I'm a bit concerned because <laughs> this is the height. Now this says 2022. We're getting more than that. So I think today is going to be a, well, at least today in game, is going to be a canola day and it's going to be a uh, wood chip day. So how's about this? Let's go ahead and get the canola sold first. Look at this bad boy too. Clean. Man, this thing is clean. Let's jump in. Let's open this up. Now this will take a hot minute. It's gonna take, take a bit of time. Uh, and while we're gone, we're actually gonna be doing the wood chips as well. So, let me show you how we're gonna do that. First off, let's come under here. Um, I think, let's see, how much canola do we have? $202,000. So we're gonna be making two trips, not just one. We're gonna have to make two trips. So there's that. We want the John Deere 8R. This is going to be what is gonna pull our wood chips. Now our wood chips are gonna be taken off with our big auger wagon, or the, the one that's got the, see the big auger wagon. I mean, can we use the auger wagon? Uh, I think the auger wagon only holds 100,000 liters. Also, I haven't used that <laughs> this whole year. It's not that I forgot is we didn't need to so that might be a sell thing forty four thousand dollars that might be something that we sell there's just no there's no reason to keep it we haven't used it so might as well sell it right make a little bit of cash all right so that's done there this this shoe to maker will hold one million liters well we have exactly one million liters a wood chip so that's gonna work perfect for us let's pull forward once there we go canola again there we go and then maybe our last bit i don't know how much this holds two thousand liters that might be just enough we're either gonna take this or we're gonna take the gooseneck to take the final amount of canola there's just not enough to take a full trailer so why not and like i mentioned we are going to be filling this bad boy up with wood chips come through here find our wood chips shouldn't be too far along there we go a milli we could turn that off that's gonna take a hot minute where are we heading to with the canola we are gonna be heading to hollister stores you guys have been there before pretty simple pretty easy to get down there it's right across the road from the lone wolfer lone oak co so Let's head down there. I'll see you there. While we're here, we got to check on our wishing well that's been getting us quite a bit of money throughout. Not too bad. We've also got our porta potties that make us $1,000 each, which are pretty sweet. Drop through here. Let's see. I don't know if we're doing the front or the back. Back, I guess, is coming first. So keep in mind the price of this, extremely good. We've got over $200,000 worth, and it's paying over two or $200,000. We got over 200,000 liters worth. It's paying over $2,000 each, meaning that each one of these bins, the front or back, either one, should pay off around $100,000. And it's showing exactly that, 108 
thousand dollars for that. Oh yeah. We could wait, but I don't want to wait too long just in case the price does something weird. And uh, always going by the uh, what Jay Turk has sent over. Speaking of, it's working hard, really, really hard getting the map done. I am recording this a few days early, so um, he may already have it finished by this time. We just don't know. And there's our first run. What was that? 116, 108? Yo, was that price falling? No? Okay. Thought I got 116. Never mind, my bad. It was 216. Yeah, it was 216. So now let's go ahead and repay off some of that loan and head back over because we've got double that to come over. $400,000. Over. It's $430,000 plus just in canola. I'm telling you guys, it is so worth it. That is why I've done this whole thing, 41 and 42 both. Oh yeah, that's all canola. And um, maybe I should have done those in wheat. Maybe we should have done canola all together. I am trying to do some wheat, kind of, you know, not do the exact same crop. It does get kind of boring to do and boring to watch as well. So I try not to do that too much. Our crops, speaking of our canola and our wheat crops, looking good. Everything's at its first growth state. We're doing really good. Oh yeah. Fully fertilized. We don't have to do anything else to this field until it's ready. We did have a couple spots that just did not make it. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. I could have come in and uh, I could have come in and direct drilled over that or or, or you know, cultivate that small section. But, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. Whatever happens to our field happens to our field, and I'm just not going to complain too much about it. <laughs> just not gonna. One thing that I always forget, if we are going to do animals this year, which we might go one more year just doing... Oh, is this thing even half full yet? I may go one more year doing arable since we've done a whole lot. Oh, yeah, it's right over half. <laughs> Let's get this out of here for now. Let's get this moved so we can at least come through. There's that. Where's our truck at? There it is. Fill this up with canola one more run. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I might do one more year of just collecting, making sure I've got enough stuff for next year, that kind of thing, because we're... I'm tempted, tempted to do animals. Let me know what you guys think. Should we do animals this year? Should we wait? I think I'm going to wait just so we can save up. Right now, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty decent. Uh, we've got uh, 1 million liters of silage, 640,000 liters of hay, uh, 837,000 liters of straw. We don't even need straw. And then we've got 1.9 million, or not straw, sorry, um, 640 liters of grass, 837,000 liters of hay, and then 1.9 million liters of straw. We don't need straw, man. <laughs> I don't know why I even saved any of that. We don't need it. What are you going to do? It's DJ. Oh, boy. All right. So let's go through. We'll get this. Head back. Sell. Put more wood chips in here and then come back. We'll have one last sell of canola. It'll be a smaller sell. We're going to take, I think, the TLX with the gooseneck tipper. Here we go. Second to last trip. Let's go ahead and start dumping that out. Get more and more and more money. Tell you one thing that I know we're going to be doing. We are going to be getting another combine. Uh, we're going to need one. So I think we're just going to go with another John Deere S790, at least for right now. I am waiting for the new John Deere stuff to come through. So we need to do this at least one more year. I think I think the combine is the S790 modded. Yeah, that's the one I've got. I think doing just one more of these will be fine. And then once that X9 comes out, we'll just trade in and trade up. Now, still going to be quite a ways away, so we will see how long that takes. And then, obviously, we will also do a trade-in and trade-up with the American John Deere pack once those are released. Now, I am making this two days ahead of time. They were in testing today. I'm recording this on Monday. This video is coming out on Wednesday. They could be out by now. If so, then, uh, well, I guess <laughs> check Friday because we'll swap everything out. But I do record some of these ahead of time. just makes things easier for me. And boop, there we go. Okay. So again, 108 and 108. So we are at $398,000. Oh, 
many tacos you think that'll buy us? Wood chips are ready to go, but we still need to finish our canola cell. And it's gonna be with this bad boy. I love this. I haven't used it in a long, long time. I think for me, like IRL, maybe two weeks, something like this. Been a while. Let's go through here. Let's find it and let's put it in there. Canola, there it is. Only 2,100 liters, so it's not, not like it's a whole lot. We could have actually, I think we could have dumped some of it in the back of the gator and the rest of it in the gator trailer. But then we wouldn't have been able to take this. I think everybody could agree. This thing's just awesome. Especially, it's fast. It's the updated version. So if you guys, actually, it's not the updated version. This is not the version that is winter ready. So if you guys are in winter, you actually have a more updated truck than I've got. But come on, I'm going to keep using this thing over and over and over again. This is the best truck in the world. Love this thing so much. Oh, I can't wait. Plus, you've got that blue on everything. Got the chrome on the wheels. <whistles> Gotta have it. Now, a couple people have asked, why don't I put dualies on here? Well, one thing that some of you may or may not know about this truck in particular is if you're running dualies, you actually don't have the same rear axle movement that you would if you were running singles. So, for example, with singles, I have the same full range of motion that I do on the front axle the you know on the front and the back however if i was running a dually my rear axle would be a lot more stationary less movie and bouncy which for some people is what they want but mm -mm, i think it's cool watching that truck go boing 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 boing, boing. <laughs> all right let's tip it open it up and it's done forty six hundred dollars okay so we have totaled after paying for everything, we've got $403,000 making a lot of money for ourselves. That is, <laughs> at the, you'd say at the end of year one, that's the end of the first sale. We still have oats, canola, and wheat to sell, plus wood chips. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Okay, speaking of wood chips, I need to get rid of that stuff. I've been talking to the G-O-O-G-L-E and it seems to think that this is going to be a ridiculous price. Let's see if let's see if it's right. The price is already up to three hundred twelve dollars per thousand liters, making me believe that if I were to let this go, we would definitely be making more. Now we could still do a little bit of logging. We could get in there. Oop, wood chip dump right there. Ah, we'll go ahead and get it on in here. We can get, we could do this. We could do this. We can also we could get another million liters if we want. We got the all right, let's see. Yep, I think it's right. I think it's absolutely right. Yep, there's 500,000 and 600,000. Yeah, three. It's going to be over 300,000. Yep, 300, cool. $312,000 for, for those wood chips. There was not a huge area, to be fair. Holy cow. That's what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> we now have $716,000. But we don't have anything to buy yet. We don't need it. And we still have lots more to sell. We're going to do it today. Oh, yes. Wheat, barley, oats. We got, I was at 34,130 and 133,000 liters each. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And that price is going up, 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 up right now. Oh, I can, I'm just excited, bro. I'm, excited. I'm so excited. Oats. Oh, is now now might be the best time to sell oats. Hold up. Um, he's saying two thousand dollars is the best time to sell oats. Right now, we are not seeing two thousand dollars as the best price. It looks like I think still we're going to be seeing. He's seventeen. It says oh, anything over 17. And oats we're seeing 17.34. Tell you what, we'll keep an eye on that 17.34. We'll see if anything happens with that. But he's he's showing $2,000 is a good oat price. We will find out exactly what's going to happen. In the meantime, let's put this away. We'll get a little fast forwardy time action going. We'll see what happens. Well, I got good news and bad news. Um, Acre XGS just hit canola. You don't, you don't want to know. 
$2,700. If we would have waited one more day. No. Wow. Oh, mm -mm. That's a whole lot. That is a lot more than we got. <laughs> I think, what was it? Canola is a 23. I think we got with 22. So that would have been a, would have been a couple thousand dollars more easily. But... You know what? We gotta sell some stuff. Stuff's in in the the right price right now. You can see we are in prime time for selling wheat, barley, and oats. So we need to make that happen. Let's find our truck. There it is. Now the first thing I want to do is sell some wheat. Wheat's gonna be down at Lone Oak Co. And so is barley. I'm gonna go ahead and sell barley as well this time around. And just so happens I'm able to do both of those at once. Uh, I've got less than 30,000 of one. And I got 130,000 some of another, which is going to be perfect for here. We can just put a little bit of both in here. So 34,000 liters of wheat in the front. We'll do a whole 50,000 liters of barley in the back. We'll get all this sold. I suspect we, we should have well over $1 million to start our farm. Um, upgrading equipment here and there, doing what we need to do. On top of that, I am going to sell the, uh, let's see this guy right here. We are going to sell this. We'll take that and sell it, hopefully, at the very end of the video. We never used it. It was really cool to have. It was a great idea. Um, but I changed my combine idea before actually, or after buying that. And with combines, you just don't need to unload. They got a million liter capacity. You don't need to unload them. You don't even need to truck with them. <laughs> so it's it it makes things nice and easy. All right, what did I say, Lone Oak Co? Yeah, Lone Oak Co. All right, let's head down there and pretend that we didn't sell our uh, canola for $500 less than we should have. And here we go. Let's get this stuff sold. Everything, like I said, selling for around $1,000 each. So um, our wheat and barley prices will be about one to one. Um, oats, a little bit more than that. It's pretty nice. And then don't forget, in the spring, we've got <laughs> soybeans, which... Soybeans are a little bit ridiculous at $3,000 per thousand liters, generally. Corn, eh, not as crazy, around $1,400, so just keep that in mind. There we go. All right, let's get this wheat sold. Perfect. We're going to have a whole lot more wheat next year. Wheat, again, doesn't sell amazing, but we do need to diversify. Plus, that allows us the possibility of having straw as well. I'll probably go ahead and max out our straw capabilities, um, which I think is 2 million liters. It is. So we're, we're about 9,000 liters away from that. So we'll probably go ahead and just max that out completely. Speaking of, $824,000. Hey, was that another taco stand? Yeah, taco stand all the way back there. I love that. Totally forgot how many of those I put around. It's, it's interesting because I put those down and we didn't really have any money. I was just trying to make a couple thousand here and there to pay for seed and fertilizer. Who'd have thought? 825 baby, let's go. And the last bit of barley right here. This should be about another $80,000 or so. Let's go ahead and get that knocked out. I wish we could dump both of these. I think this has probably been beat to death, but I wish we could dump both of these at the same time. I understand why we can't because it's in one trailer and one trailer having two dump. It's. It's, it's, it's the XML works pain, and I understand. All right, there's one. There's two. This should put us over, better put us over uh, $900,000 with the amount total. And then I can't remember, what do we have? Yeah, 133,000 liters of uh, oats as well. That's going to be going to AgriXJS, however. Looks like it anyway. Yep, AgriXJS for that totally happy totally fine about that uh one of the things you know i was totally uh thinking back on fs17 and doing seasons on here on lone oak is uh, you guys may know we did a 50 episode series just with seasons not to mention the i think around 100 episodes total uh all together i know we got into the 80s or 90s it was it was ridiculous we did daily videos on here i don't think we really missed anything and think about it, it's less than three months right there. So, uh, But I was thinking, I was like, you know, I remember when I first started learning how to play Seasons and Lone Oak came out and we were t learning how to play Seasons on console at the time, this and that. And I remember 
really, really, really getting upset when I would sell something and then look, you know, a day later when it said it shouldn't be a good price, but it was a phenomenal price. So irritating. The best thing you can do is just not pay that any attention. Sell it for when you know it's going to be a good price and don't worry about it. Just get it done, get it over with. And you're totally fine. You, you've you sold something at the time. It should have been sold. And guess what? You made a lot of money. Yes, you could have made more, but you didn't know you could make more. That's called a gamble. And we don't do that around here. All right. Oats in 100,000 liters back and forth. How many liters does this trailer hold? 26,000. Okay. So not enough. Not quite enough. But that's okay. Nonetheless, we'll come back and we will get it, get the rest with uh, with this truck. And here we are, the first of two oat sales at Agri XJS. Love this place. Uh, this I remember way back when um, I was doing the original FS17 series on here, and I remember I was like, man, I want to be able to bring the mother bin in here, but I can't, and I want to. How do I do that? And I remember our good friend, Mr. Howiebot, uh, he had figured out a way to get all kinds of belts and levers and stuff to make it happen to get, get that here. And I remember him sending me that over and thinking it was so cool getting that. I just thought it was awesome. Some, some memory lane there for you guys. Okay. 94 and 94 we've got 30,000 more we're already over 1 million we're at 1.1 we're looking good and i think we're gonna have a whole lot more money to play with next year oh this wrong side of the road i keep playing on european maps darn it um i think we're gonna have a whole lot more to play with a whole lot more money to mess with than originally thought however that doesn't mean we should spend it all immediately huh yeah, saving our money. Let's do it. Oh yeah, don't get me started on wood chips either. They're at $368 per thousand liters and rising. Well, I'll tell you what guys, today has been a great day of selling crops, making money, and really progressing the future of our farm. Not only by getting out of debt, but also giving ourselves some room to grow, some room to breathe, and some room to just say, ha ha. I don't have to pay for anything. <laughs> I'm out of debt. Uh, who knows how long that's going to last with $1.168 million. Uh, we might get about a day or two. Hopefully we make it in the spring. <laughs> There you go. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Enjoy the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later.